Hey guys, what is going on? My name's Tyler McNabb, and this is my YFZ 450R. Oh man, she is glowing in that sun. All that orange camera almost can't handle it. Looking beautiful as ever. We got the backup quad out here, you know, as a backup just in case. We got the the old TRX 90 over there, and uh, it's a little slick. As you can see, we got some people getting pulled in. We had to end up getting pulled in with the tractor. So uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit slick. Uh, ground's actually pretty solid. Um, I think they hadn't had any rain here for a little bit and then it rained like literally right before we got here. So it made the top soil pretty slick, but it's honestly, it's starting to dry out already. So um, woods, a little bit slick, uh, holding a little bit of moisture, but like I said, it's not really soft or anything. So I don't think it's gonna be like a crazy mudder but first couple laps or so will probably be slick, knock that top off and it'll, it'll end up being pretty tacky is my guess, not too bad anyway. So we're all set up out here at MWXC round number three, Oliver's Hunting Haven. So um, if you guys are familiar with some of the other uh, properties, um, Extreme raced at Oliver's Hills and Haulers and then um, Midwest ran last year Oliver's Full Throttle. Well, those are the same property and they are actually right across the road from this property. So this is a separate property um, that one of the Oliver brothers owns. So um, yeah, we're on this property this time. I've never raced this one. I've raced the other one, but I've never raced this one. So we'll see how it ends up being. Uh, lots of hills, which I like, and uh, it should be a good time. So uh, talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, out here at the Pro Hill and this is a legit pro hill so let me flip you flip you around and show you real quick so this is the bottom we got us a nice bridge and this is the hill and i imagine the camera is not going to even close to do this justice but basically come from up there where my dad is come down the hill and then you would basically have to hit this even if it was dry this would be i mean this hill is nuts let me go down to the bottom of it and see if I can do it justice. So I'm standing at the very bottom, and if I point up, yeah, the camera the camera makes it look steep, but not near as steep as it is. I mean, this is one of the steepest hills, pro hills that I've seen in a long time. And uh, factor that in with how slimy it is. Look at this. I mean, this is not good. Not primo dirt at all. And then you've got mud smeared on these uh wood um railroad ties so that's slicker than snot all of these things combined to a pro hill that i honestly don't know if it's makeable um in the current conditions with how slick it is so um to basically give you a little bit of justice um midwest actually put technically a little bit of a bounty on this hill um so they said the first uh quad and bike rider to make it up it uh they were going to pay a hundred dollars so that kind of tells you uh, what kind of hill it is. So um, if it was dry, I think it would definitely be doable. Bikes are probably going to make it up it. Quads, on the other hand, I'm honestly thinking no one's going to make it up it if it doesn't dry out a lot overnight. So we'll see how it goes. But as of right now, I'd say I'm out. So anyway, unfortunate. Probably no pro line, uh, no pro hill action from me um anyway on this uh for this race but anyway um yeah we'll probably go out explore a little bit more of the track from there good morning guys it is officially saturday morning which means it's race day so out here beautiful day right now it's supposed to be 80 and sunny which is beautiful we got the quads back here looking beautiful as ever everything's just beautiful today you know we got some pretty good dirt it's uh soften or not softening it's firming up pretty good so really uh yeah it's gonna be a little slimy at first but i think overall it's not gonna be a bad day of racing so looking forward to it should be a good one i'm gonna go out get as many uh like little highlights and stuff as i can and uh we'll see how it goes but then i will catch up with you guys uh, a little bit later okay guys well we are all suited up getting ready to go we got us not fresh but it looks fresh fly racing kinetic mesh dad's trying to photo bomb uh not kinetic mesh sorry fly racing slacking a little bit they need to release their 2024 kinetic mesh because 
it's a little toasty today, mid 80s or so, um, and sunny. So uh, yeah, I could uh, really go for some mesh gear right now, but we got the kinetic, but we also do have, let me go down here. We got the fresh Alpine Star Tech 5s. Looking beautiful. Yeah, that Harrison, man. oh yeah. We are ready to go today, so it should be an absolute good one. A little bit slick on top, but I think it's gonna shape up nicely. It's gonna be a good day of racing. So uh, with that, I will, uh, quads already up on the line. So uh, we're gonna head up there here in a minute and uh, I'll see you guys up there.
Okay, guys, we made it home, and uh, yeah, uh, I've been doing these outros like a couple days later after I get the bike cleaned up, but I was so excited, I just I just had to go ahead and do it tonight, so you guys already know the outcome. I threw some stuff in there. Uh, I'm gonna, hopefully, I uh, went through, and I was gonna try to uh, include more of the race other than the first lap, because this race was bonkers. It was straight chaos, but it was a good time. So, we got that W, baby first place at oliver's hunting haven my first win at an mwxc which i am super pumped about because i got my first b class win at extreme which was good but there was only like 50 or 60 quads there this race however there was 162 quads entered into this race so let's get straight into the race report because it's a crazy one so head up to the line feeling good and uh, ready to do some damage and well good damage anyway ready to get out there do some damage to the track and uh, see what we can do so <clears throat> that BNR Motorsports 24 volt kit fired right up rocketed me off the line thanks to these GBC tires which I'll get more into in a minute because this race is sponsored by GBC tires 100% so we get off the line didn't get a great jump um, I think I, I was kind of sleeping a little bit on the line, so didn't get the greatest jump. Um, was going into the woods fifth, I believe, so um, not too shabby there um, in a row of like 15 or 16, something like that. Um, fifth into the woods, and honestly, I think it ended up helping me because um, it kind of put me back um, due to some of the bottlenecks and stuff, and it allowed me not to be the one getting stuck in that stuff, so... Go into the woods. First thing, we had some issues, um, as you guys saw. Unfortunately, Zach had a little bit of a rough day. He got buried first thing uh, right there uh, in a hole, and then Colton was right behind him. So that was kind of unfortunate. I was lucky enough that I was back far enough. I could push the quad back, go around, get going again. So um, got going again on the first lap, and holy cow, laps one and two was bottleneck city oh my gosh there was bottlenecks everywhere we were doing everything we could to get around and uh, keep going on the race so <clears throat> come through lap one i'm sitting in fourth place okay not too bad uh for the chaos we've had on lap four um in my mind after that first lap i honestly didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was um my mind i'm like okay this is turning into sur a survival race so we just need to go out we need to run consistent laps and we need to stay on the quad make sure we're preventing getting stuck and all that second lap however it was a rough one um got stuck uh or was in bottleneck several more times and i will add i'm pretty darn sure if i remember correctly i did not get stuck a single time due to ruts so I, I never got stuck due to ground clearance. The only times I ever got stuck was due to my wrongdoing. So I either like clipped a tree or something and had to get off and move the quad. Or I got stuck on like a rock or um, like some roots or something. Um, I think, but for the mo or a log, the one time, a uh, big shout out to my dad on lap three, I think it was, helped me, or no, it was lap two, helped me out on uh, that log there. Um, but yeah never got stuck once in any deep ruts and that is thanks to one these gbc tires getting all the traction in the world some of the best tires the best tires not some of the best tires i have ever ran on the rears of this thing gbc ground buster 3 pros all the traction in the world and these are 20s as well not even a bigger size I, i'd like to get a bigger size for races like this but right now we're still running the 20s and thanks to the old wrestlers extreme atv sprocket guard these teeth i bet were digging all day long through that mud and my hess motorsports rotor guard keeping the rotor safe from any of those rocks as well as keeping giving me a little bit of extra ground clearance underneath the swing arm a lot of people run the standard kind of skid plate almost uh, rotor guards and this Hess Motorsports rotor guard just it gives you that little extra little bit of extra ground clearance so it's only maybe a quarter maybe half inch at max more ground clearance than the skid plate type but everything matters especially in a mud race so with that big shout out to GBC Hess Motorsports and Rissler's Extreme ATV for keeping me uh, unstuck.
appreciate it. Okay, where was I? Um, lap two. So yeah, came through lap two. I made it up to third place. So I was like, okay, made up a spot. And at that point, I was 56 seconds back from, um, uh, from second place. So I was like, okay, not too bad. We'll see what we can do on this next lap. Like I said, just be consistent. Knock some laps out and uh, try not to get stuck. Third lap, I think, might have ended up being my fastest lap, my dad said. Um, was running really good. Uh, I don't think I got stuck any of the third lap. If I did, it wasn't anything major. Um, was running a good pace. The track was flowing amazing. So big shout out to MWXC. Even though there was the conditions weren't the greatest and we had a lot of uh, bottlenecks and uh, mud issues, um, the track itself, though, I absolutely loved. Absolutely loved this track. And I'm not just saying that because I won. I was going to be happy with a third place position, honestly. And I was having a ball out there on the track. Hopefully you guys see that in the video. I talked a lot more this race. I was feeling good. I was having fun. And honestly, that's what it's all about. So, uh, yeah, lap three, running good. And I don't think anything crazy significant happened. Come through the finish line, lap three. I look up. I'm still in third place, but instead of being 56 seconds back, I am now seven seconds back from second place, I think. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's right there in front of me. So I come around the corner, and who is it? None other than Ethan Burke, the guy I've been battling with this year uh, quite a bit already. So I see him. He's pitted. So I pass him. That puts me in second place. We get going on lap four, and we're going through the woods. And about that time is when the pros started lapping me. So I think Abney, he actually lapped me um, like halfway through lap three. So he was moving today. Um, then some of the other guys started to lap me right there at the beginning of lap four. And in the process of letting those pros and A guys around, I didn't notice Ethan was right there behind one of them. And I let him around too. So he got by me there. So I'm back to third. So we're going. I think he pulled a little bit away from me and um got a little bit of a gap and i think i was finally able to close that gap back up we were running together um i think he got stuck um he got stuck in uh, some mud i think it pulled him off the track i got by him i was going good we came up to a bottleneck and uh as i'm sitting there at the bottleneck i'm looking around trying to find a place to go around and the guy behind ethan he kind of backs up and he kind of forges his own trail around and makes a go around. So Ethan backs up, he gets on that, he goes around, I back up, I get on it. So Ethan's back in front of me. I'm back to third, he's in second. We're going again, and I'm trying to think. I think we swapped places one more time, I believe. I think I got around him, he got back around me, and then we, I can't remember exactly where though, but then we come down to one of the real nasty creek sections, and he just buries it. I, I feel really bad for the guy because he was going through and he just buries it in the creek. Um, big thanks to him, though, because after he got stuck, I came down and he points me and he's like, go that way. Do not go this way. So thank you. He gave me a thumbs up. He knew um, that he was uh, kind of done there, but uh, it was a great, great battle. And so after that, I was like, OK, all I need to do is I need to finish out the lap because I didn't know how close the guy was behind me or Ethan either. So I was like, okay, I just need to run a consistent rest of the race, try not to get stuck, and I'll settle for a good second place. So I was riding the rest of the track, and I come up through the finish line, and you guys saw it in the video, and I was shocked. I, walk, or I, I go through the finish line, I look up, and it says, number one, first place. So I guess... Um, the guy who was running first, he had a really bad last lap, so he must have got buried, stuck somewhere as well. I forgot to mention my actual placing was first out of eight in the Junior B class and 17th out of 162 quads overall out of everybody. And so my mind was just absolutely blown. I was so happy at that point. Sorry if I'm swinging you around a lot. I got all kinds of gnats and stuff uh, out here right now. But anyway, I was absolutely thrilled because <clears throat> my goal this year with running midwest you got some really good competition you got a lot more racers than um than i did like last year when i ran extreme and so my goal this year really was i was like i want to get a couple top threes and you know maybe possibly if i have a really good day i'd like to get a win um 
I guess this time I just uh, decided to skip a top three because all I've ever gotten is like a sixth and a fifth. Um, so uh, I just went straight to the top. So I am super, super excited. Um, yeah, uh, you guys heard it in the video. Um, maybe if I didn't include the clips, but you will hear it in my full race video. I was talking about, the, like I said already, these GBC tires were hooking amazing today, giving me all the traction that they could. Um, also, my BNR Motorsports suspension got those fronts uh, you guys saw in my last video. Just got those fronts redone. Just got my rear redone. That rear, oh man, that thing is riding like butter. So smooth. Um, absolutely amazing. That rear was soaking up everything I was throwing at it, and the fronts were handling amazing as well. So BNR Motorsports absolutely nailing their suspension and um, get with them if you need any suspension because they are one of the biggest supporters of the sport continually. They are always trying to innovate, bring new products to the sport, and supporting it. So uh, support those who, su who support us. So very, very important there, and uh, yeah, hit them up. Um, other than that, man, I am just, I, I don't know what to say. So I had an absolute blast this weekend. Um, it was so much fun. I'd be saying this too, even if I didn't win. Um, like I said, I was going to be happy with a third. Um, cause sometimes I think some people think, well, you only have a good time if you win. That's not true at all. Um, I don't care if I broke down on the last lap. Um, I might not be quite as excited as I am, but that track was so much fun. I had an absolute blast. It flowed so well, um, and just the technical, hard aspect of it. A lot of people don't like these types of tracks, lots of hills, and then, of course, you throw in the muddy conditions. I absolutely love these conditions because it essentially evens the playing field. Um, if you've got some of your faster riders, you know, you know, you can you can go fast still, but you can only go so fast in the muddy conditions. So it's uh, the mud is the great equalizer, and um, I'm I usually love these types of races, and uh, I really do. So as the great Wyatt Wilkins said, "Let it rain." So with that, I just want to thank all my sponsors, um, uh, all my sponsors that just that keep this quad going. And uh, helping me out. Like I said, um, please go support these companies. They're the ones who are still continuously supporting the sport. And uh, they make great products. Because I don't run a product just because somebody gives me a discount. I run a product because I like the product. And then if they happen to give me a discount because I support that product, then so be it. But yeah, that's how it is. I run these products because I believe in them. It's not just... Who gives me the biggest discount or anything like that so um, any of the products on these machines are trusted they're amazing they work great and uh, go check them out support those who support the sport thank you guys for coming and watching i really do appreciate it talk to a lot of great people um, raced against a bunch of good people this weekend and uh, overall just had a blast so big thank you guys for watching this video i've been talking for who knows how long so um i'm gonna end it off thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you in the next one